So for the next couple of weeks we're going to be looking at something called integration or anti-differentiation. Before we move into those though, it's a good idea to look back at last term and think about uh, derivatives. Now the derivative, you guys got pretty good at figuring out the derivative. Let's look at this one, x squared. The derivative of x squared is 2x. Now this next one, 2x cubed, the derivative of that is equal to 2, time, 2 times 3, which is 6x, and then you decrease that power from 3 to 2. Now this last one here, 4x to the half, a little more difficult, but same idea. 4 times a half is 2x to the half minus, minus 1, which makes a negative a half. 2x to the negative half. That's finding the derivative and that's revision. You should be pretty comfortable with that. Now, integration or anti-differentiation is just the opposite. It's going the other way. So, have a think about 8x. What would the anti-derivative or what would the integral of 8x be? 4x squared. Now, you can check it, 4x squared. Most of us are going to be better at finding the derivative than we are at finding the integral. So the derivative of 4x squared is 4 times 2, which is 8, 8x. 18x squared, what would the integral of 18x squared be? 6x cubed. Now again, take a look, 6 times 3, that's 18x squared. And finally, 20x cubed, what would the uh, integral, or the integral or the antiderivative of 20x cubed be? 5x to the 4. In our next video, we'll uh, attempt to put a formal rule here uh, rather than just moving back and forth as if by magic. That's the definition of integration or anti differentiation.